Hey everybody, this is Richard. I wanted to do a review for the third week of October. Before we do that, we'll go ahead and look at the disclaimer, and then we'll talk about the results. And I think what you'll see is that the results were really, really good for this third week, which covers the 17th of October through the 23rd of October. So let's go ahead and look at the disclaimer now. Feel free to pause the screen if you'd like, but this is just saying that there is definitely risk involved in trading futures. It's not for everyone, and past performance is not indicative of future performance. So keep that in mind. The final thing I'll say is that I'm not a CTA. We offer the, the algorithms to be traded under what's called the letter of direction. Let's go ahead and look at the results now. All right, so as I said, for the 17th through the 23rd of October, or the third week of October, we had a really good uh, week. I gave the algorithms an A+, and, that's, and, and I'll kind of show why that is. But really, it's because all three algorithms did incredibly well within the Phoenix. And as you know, Phoenix trades all three of these individual algos. The gain was $3,698 per $20,000 traded. So that's about an 18.5% gain in this week that, that, we, uh, that we just finished. So let's go ahead and look at the, the charts, and I'll show you a little bit more detail. Okay, so this is just my, my TradeStation platform. Now, you might have noticed that the, this chart looks a little different than the still shot that I, that I was showing. The reason why is because the market is still actually open. Uh, today's Friday the 22nd. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the review though now is because we're not going to get into any new trades today. And so the week is done. But you'll see here, I mean, the S&P is selling off. And that actually just makes today's trade even better since we already got out of it. But let me just kind of walk you through each algo and, and how we did. As you know, if, if you traded these algorithms for a while or if you followed along, the Phoenix algorithm trades five individual algos, and it's these five here. It's the day trade algo, the 10-year note, and then the momentum S&P algorithm. That's this one over here. But if we, if we look at each one individually, I'll kind of show you how they did. So th this algorithm, this day trade Phoenix, it definitely gets an A plus because it had these two winning trades here. This one was on, uh, so here's Monday on the 18th and then on the 19th is Tuesday. We got in a little bit after the market opened and then got out right up here when it hit its target. And same thing happened the next day on Wednesday where it got out and then hit its target here. And then yesterday we didn't have a trade and then today we haven't had a trade and we, we won't today either. So that's, that's how the day trade algo did. So it, it got an A plus in my mind, this one here. This one also gets an A+. Plus. The reason why, this is the 10-year note algorithm. And notice we did get stopped out of our trade way back on the 27th of September. And since then, the 10-year has been selling off. And notice how we haven't gotten back in yet. And so that's, that's good. So this algorithm also gets an A+. Plus. And just to, to really highlight why that is, it's really because here you see um, the 15th, which would have been last Friday, Here's Monday of this week, the 18th, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So all week, the 10-year has sold off. And the fact that we've been on the sideline is perfect uh, because this is a long only algorithm. It's only long the 10-year, that is. Um, so yeah, so, so this algorithm has done really good as it kind of stayed on the sideline. This momentum S&P algorithm is one that, that also gets an A+. And the reason why is because it has had a really good week. Now, if I zoom out a bit, you'll see way back here is September the 7th, September the 8th, um, and then you go all the way over here. You got September the 14th, and then here's the rally that the markets have seen in October so far. But remember how this algorithm stayed on the sideline as the market was going lower, and it finally did start buying again on the 18th, which was Monday. So it, it bought and then got out the, um, not the next day, I'm sorry, it did. So it, it bought on Monday. That's this day right here is Monday. It held Tuesday throughout the day, but then at the, as the market was closing, it got out. But then it jumped right back in again and hit its target. So it had two winning trades here. And then, and so this would have been Tuesday. So then on Wednesday, it got back in towards the close and got out on Thursday during the day. And then on Thursday's close, it got in. And then today's Friday, it got out when the market rallied a bit. Since then, the market's been selling off, and who knows where we'll close for the rest of the day, but it doesn't matter because this, this algorithm is already finished. So it had four winning trades plus the two uh, day trades that were winners. Okay, and here's all four algorithms again. 
Now, for those of you that are trading the swing trader, you would have seen really good results as well because you would have had all four of these trades and then you also stayed out of the way on the 10 year. Now the swing trader doesn't trade this day trade algorithm, so it would have missed out on these, but, but as far as the swing trader goes, it also had a really good week because of these trades here. The wave trader also did pretty good because it had a couple of these trades, none of these. The pro and the crusher did amazing, and that's because they, they were more similar to the Phoenix and that they had these two, they had the trades here, plus no trades on the 10 year, plus they had their own day trades that, that did well. But again, we're really doing the videos just to zero in on the, the current product that we're offering, which is the Phoenix. And so that's how we did for this third week. So let's go back to the slides and then we'll finish the, the video. All right, so here's a final look at how we did. Again, A plus because we we're up about 18.5%. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. You can email us at sales at algorithmictrain.net. Other than that, I hope you have a great week and thank you so much for watching the video and following along. All right, bye-bye.